Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, review of the a, uh, the Autel AL319. This is the full color uh, little scanner, and it's pretty cool. It does your check engine lights and your monitors, and this actually will access the transmission module on some vehicles. Let me go ahead and set this up on my vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my OBD2 port, which is normally located on most cars. In the foot, the, the driver footwell area, and on this vehicle is right there, and the connector only goes in one way because of the shape. Let me go ahead and set that up, and I'll be right back. All right, so with my ignition on, which means the check engine light, everything turns on. The last click before you crank the car. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my scanner here, and the scanner is really cool. I'm gonna show you what it does really fast. So the first thing you can see, I can check see if there's any check engine lights. I could do a ready test, I could do a setup, and I can have, if I have a question. My favorite feature on this particular scanner is going to be the ready test. So I go right into here, and this just gives me a quick overview of the vehicle's health. And if somebody's trying to pull a fast one on me, if I'm buying a vehicle. So what I mean by that is if I go buy a vehicle and the check engine light is off, but they've just cleared it before I went there, when you come to the screen right here, this will be okay, but all these will say incomplete, where it says monitors. So the EVAP system won't be ready. The O2 sensor might not be ready, right? The EGR might not be ready. So I'm going to give you a quick example of this and uh, how you'll tell when you have a vehicle that, uh, that's been cleared before you got there. So come on. All right, so... I'm going to go into the check engine light. I'm going to scan. I'm going to erase this check engine light. There, I don't have a check engine light, but I'm just going to erase everything in the memory even. So, I'm going to go ahead and erase these codes. There's no codes, but I'm going to, everything's going to be gone. And this allows you to view live data, which is a really great feature. Uh, go ahead and read. There's no codes, but I'm just going to delete all the data. Yes. sure we want to exit yes all right so now if I go into this ready test now since I just cleared the check engine light this is what you want to watch out for if you're buying a vehicle and uh, I have other videos on how to buy vehicles but you see now see how there's an EGR there's an X through there and then the the heater O2 heaters has an X the oxygen sensor has an X the EVAP system has an X so this would indicate to me that somebody before I got there, actually went ahead and pull the check, uh, uh, clear the check engine light, and they're gonna try to get one, uh, one over on you. So this scanner is really cool for that part, and you actually get an alert right here. If you, uh, if you noticed before, we had that green symbol on to the left of my, uh, of my thumb, but that's no longer green now. It's actually alerting you that the tests on this aren't complete. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. I'll keep the other videos coming. One thing that's pretty cool with the scanner. comes in this container here. And there's the instruction manual. But it comes with a CD. You can actually pull up any of the any codes for uh, most of the manufacturers in here. And this works for Windows. If you have a Mac, you can run Boot Camp if needed. And I'll have a link to this uh, $16 scanner. That's how much it is. This does uh, about 80% of the same things that scanner does. It does not allow you to... Look up live di live data, and it's not color, and you kind of have to go through a couple of different menus uh, versus just getting a complete snapshot. But um, I'll have a link to both of these below, and I've gotten you guys the best price on those. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and share this video if you have a friend or family that's looking to buy a vehicle and you don't want them to buy a lemon. This would be a good way to avoid that. Take care.